Hey guys, I'm back again, walking to my kitchen. I'm making pizza tonight. Actually, I'm just making the dough right now. I made some sausage uh, last week, and I wanted to use some of the sausage. So we're gonna start by activating some yeast. I got, okay, I went to Costco and they were out of the yeast that I buy. I usually buy the big cake of yeast. And they'll ask me all year, because the holidays are coming up. I bake a lot during the holidays. Uh, they're out, so I had to just go buy some just regular rapid rise yeast. So you put two packets of rapid rise yeast and some sugar. Why I put sugar? I want to make sure my yeast activates. So I put a good tablespoon of sugar in my yeast. A lot of people say don't put sugar in your yeast, but I say do because you want your yeast to activate. Uh, basically, the yeast needs to eat something while it's, it's blooming. So sugar gives it something to eat. It doesn't alter the flavor of your, your uh, gluten and your dough any. It adds a little bit of sweetness, but not very much because most of the yeast eats all the sugar. So you're going to add two packages of yeast to some warm water. And I'm going to add some warm water to this right now and mix this up. Now I'm mixing this all up, making sure this is all mixed. And I'm going to allow this to bloom. There's about one full cup of water here, a little more than a cup of water. So that's what we're going to use. Now for flour wise, I want six cups of all purpose flour for my, and this is just lightly packed. There's three. blooms pour yeast, that cup of yeast water, into that flour mixture. Alright, my yeast is bloomed now. You see it's starting to get nice and foamy on top. I'm going to add a good tablespoon of salt to my flour. Get it mixing. And now I'm going to... Now that's all the salt's all mixed. I'm just going to add the, the yeast right to it. Let that start to blend. We have a little bit of yeast left in here. I'm just gonna get the last of yeast in there. That's good to go. We'll let this blend up. We'll see how the moisture does with the flour. We're gonna let this go for about five minutes, and then I'll see where I'm at. If I've got any water or flour based on the moisture of the dough. Now this is gone for a couple of minutes and you can see it still hasn't formed into a rough ball so I'm going to add another half cup of water to it and let it continue to mix. I want to form into a, a nice rough ball and start to knead. Now this is gone for a couple of minutes and you can see it still hasn't formed into a rough ball so I'm going to add another half cup of water to it and let it continue to mix. I want to form into a, a nice rough ball and start to knead. Now as you can see it's formed into a rough ball. I'm going to let it sit for five more minutes and then I'm going to knead it after that for five minutes. Now that it's rested for five minutes we're going to knead it. A good hard knead like this for five full minutes. And then after we do that we will uh, I'll show you what I do next. So there you go. I'm just gonna let it go like this for five minutes. 
Now that this has gone for five more minutes, it's done. To that point anyway, we're going to put some flour out on my counter here. And we're going to turn this dough onto the counter. I can pull it off the dough hook. Turn the dough out of the bowl onto the counter, onto a nice floured surface. Now, store's a little wet still, that's okay. Just flour it up a little bit. A little more flour on the counter too. Okay. There's my dough. That's a nice dough. It's nice and elastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this dough in half. And now from there, I'm going to cut it in thirds. Now each little third, I'm just going to make into a ball. Like that. Now that's a big one right there. Oh well, I didn't do this very well. There was a bigger one. <coughs> See if I can get this side a little better. See how nice and elastic this dough is. This dough is just beautiful. The KitchenAid really needs the dough very, very well. Now I'm gonna little balls of dough is this. I've got a sheet pan. I'm gonna make sure these balls of dough are really nice. I'm just gonna stick them right on the sheet pan with room to grow. Alright, and then I will wrap this with plastic, cellophane plastic, and I will put that in the refrigerator for overnight. It's about 7:30 right now. Tomorrow at about 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, we're going to have pizza. A little advice. When making bread dough, uh, it's easy to add more water. It's really hard to take water away. You have to add more flour. Before you know it, you'll have a bunch of dough that's so big, you won't know what to do with it. But I uh, just wanted to let you know that. Uh, this dough is my second batch I'm making. All right, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'm going to make the sauce for the pizza. So it's going to be a quick, easy sauce. I just went and got some a can of uh, tomatoes. What are kind of these? These are crushed tomatoes and a can of tomato paste at the Walmart. Crushed tomatoes. Put those right in the blender. And tomato paste. Right now that I got the tomato paste open, we're just going to put some tomato paste in here. I'm going to put about half the can of tomato paste. Now I'm just going to put this on the blender on medium to low. 